before today, magical bags of money showed up. Everything we did, we got reimbursed 80%, uh, and that doesn't take talent. But what happens when we re replace emotion with evidence and data? We find very expensive practice variations. In all industries, the overtime rate is 4%. Unfortunately, in healthcare, it's almost 11. And um, first, I don't even ask this question anymore because I, I'm so disappointed anytime I ask it, people don't even know their overtime rate. And that's what's frightening. So um, absenteeism in all industries, it's 2%. In healthcare, it's 4.2%. So the swing there is about, uh, there's 8%. Donald Berwick says there's 30% of waste in healthcare. I agree. Right here, we have 8% waste. We have these wide, wide, wide spending variations, and that's what's expensive. And that's what uh, using evidence-based management and all this data can snuff out. I only um, use six, I count six things. This is what I count. Salary expenses, non-salary expenses, revenues, volume trends, turnaround time, how quick we deliver stuff, and productivity. How, how many FTEs is it taking? Um, you know, there's clinical, there's quality, there's all subsets, but for operational management, I started this umbrella. This is what I look at, and I look at this, literally, I will tell you, I have 40 departments, and I look at their dashboard, which is totally transparent. This is um, peer pressure. Everybody gets to see everybody else's as well. They used to call this the pizzeria. Uh, every month, I would put their productivity up in the staff lounge. You know, the union went crazy. Like, I'm like, what am I doing? They're like, you can't do that. I, can't. I said, I can't do what? You can um, uh, manage the techs and discipline the techs. I said, I'm not doing anything but putting this up. And watch, this is the Hawthorne effect. So it's really funny because people that thought, everybody thinks they're the hardest worker. Does anybody in this room not think you're the hardest worker at your hospital? No. We all think we're the hardest workers. But when you see the data of your productivity, you kind of go, wow. So, you know, a couple of the people over here, I had to show them the detail to prove, yeah, is this what you did last month? Did you do any more? You know, the data's not wrong. So then everybody had to agree that the data was credible. So I would put this up every month, and after a couple months where they opposed it, they couldn't wait, you know? Oh, let's see the pizza, let's see the pizza. So this was their first month. These are 21 x-ray techs, all full-timers, and the inequities of their workloads. You know, we had a couple superstars, but then again, we had a couple um, not pulling their weight. 20 months later, it's almost, you know, uh, th these are nights and weekends and evenings when the volume is slower, but um, this, is, this is what brings me joy, seeing something like this. <laughs> I get very offended at any CEO, CFO, COO, any CIO that doesn't know how to do the work. It, it, it just pisses me off when we have a whole layer of people, the most expensive people, that have, like if you're a vice president, take a department to run as well. I love these uh, C COOs that have, oh, I have great directors. Why don't you just take one of those jobs and run a department? You're not doing anything if you have great directors. That's our goal. Yeah, we all want great managers, but our goal is also to be efficient. They thought they were open 7A to 7P, seven days a week. So anytime I go, you gotta be a secret shopper. You know, I'll call for my cell phone. Can I get a mammogram at seven o'clock in the morning before I go to work? Oh no, our first appointment's nine. Okay, well then I'll come after work. I'll have a six o'clock appointment. Nope, last appointment's three. Okay, I don't want to take a day off of work. Let me come Saturday. Close, Saturday and Sunday. So they were really open, nine to three. Here's the CEO, COO, all those knuckleheads thinking they're open seven A, seven P, seven days a week. The Hawthorne effect, it's a phenomenon that says whatever you measure improves. If you're not doing a good job, get the hell out. If you're doing a good job, that's what you're supposed to. I think watching everybody, it really separates high performers from low performers. You'll see high performers love to be watched. You know, they'll put that badge on right away. I think we should track everything. This is it guys, we, we have a big fat stupid mess that we have to fix.